Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome to our devotional time on this um, Thursday afternoon. I hope and pray that um, you are enjoying this morning as you're getting ready for your day. Um, for kiddos here at, in Bloomer, it is our last day of school, so I know my kids are excited about that. And if you are on your way to work or you are at work at a later time in your day, I pray that you have been having a good day. You've been able to step into the places and opportunities and blessings that God has placed before you. So friends, as we come together for this devotion this morning, I want to just take a a moment as we normally do to um, just thank God and, and to spend some time in prayer. Almighty and loving God, we thank you and praise you for this gorgeous morning that you have gifted us with, Lord. The sunshine is beautiful, and the smells that are are all around us are amazing. And so, Lord, we just pray for your blessing during this day, Lord. We just ask that um, we would take in the beauty that you have for us to see and experience. Lord, we pray that, that we would feel your Holy Spirit's presence um, throughout this entire day, that the Spirit will guide us, move us in the directions that we um, need to go, and that the Spirit will empower us to do the important ministry and work um, that you have for us in our lives today. Lord, so just bless each person um, that will listen to this devotion, help draw them closer to you, and just um, equip and empower them to, to do the work that you have um, destined them to do this day and throughout this week. Lord, we pray all of these things in your Son, Jesus' name. Amen. All right, friends. Well, we're going to continue on with our devotions from Henry Nguyen. Um, and today, um, the devotion is titled, The Garden is Meant for All. So Nguyen says, Compassion is daring to acknowledge our mutual destiny so that we might move forward all together into the land which God is showing us. Compassion also means sharing another's joy, which can be just as difficult as suffering with him. To give another the chance to be completely happy and to let his joy blossom to the full. Often you can do nothing more than present a bleached smile or say with some effort, that's really good for you, or I'm glad to see you made it. But this compassion is more than a shared slavery with the same fear and same size of relief and more than a shared joy. For if your compassion is born of prayer, it is born of your meeting with God who is also the God of all people. At the moment when you grant that God is God who wants to be your God, and when you give him access to yourself, you realize that a new way has been opened for the person who is beside you. He too has no reason to fear. He too does not have to hide behind a hedge. He too needs no weapons to be a man. The garden, which has been unattended for so long, is also meant for him. All right, friends. Well, I want to just talk about a couple of things in that devotion um, because I, I do think they're important and they are things that that I have struggled with and perhaps maybe you have too. And, and the first one is this idea of of journeying together with different people. Um, and so um, we know that relationships can be difficult and it can be extremely difficult when we see friends or loved ones or even strangers that go through difficult times. You know, as a pastor, um, one of the difficulties of my job is walking with people who are, are really struggling, who, who face some major challenges or major loss um, during their life and trying to counsel and work through them and, and to be there for them. And there are so many times that, that as Nguyen alludes to, that it's just, it's hard. You know, you don't have all the answers. There's only so much that you can do and and so often it's easy to feel inadequate in being able to care for and love people people properly now friends at the same time the opposite can be said too um you know when when people see or experience profound moments of joy and success you know it can also be hard to relate to that you know and sometimes we can even move into jealousy where as he says you know we might be able to say with a feigned smile that hey i'm i'm really excited for you and yet our heart you know kind of looks at our own life and goes well 
gosh, why why is this happening to them and, and maybe I'm not seeing this or maybe the other people in my life aren't seeing the same success or the same joy, right? And so it can be equally difficult on both ends of the spectrum, if you will, to relate to people and, and encourage people and to truly have joy for the things that are going on in their lives. Um, and, and as Nguyen moves to later in his devotion he talks about the fact that if we're grounded in prayer if we're if our lives are grounded in god right then you know on the one hand we don't need to feel insecure about our ability to to care for someone who's struggling and at the same time we don't need to feel insecure about the success that someone else has um but as we stay centered in god and we remember that our identity, again, this is this theme of identity continually comes up, right? When our identity is, is focused in God and we know who we are and we know who God says we are, then it makes it much easier for us to, to traverse the relationships or to navigate the relationships that we have with each other because we don't need to, um, you know, we don't we don't live in that insecurity on on either end of the spectrum, but we're able to walk with with authority and power, and we're able to speak into the lives of the people around us in some very meaningful and welcoming ways. Um, and again, friends, I think this is an opportunity for us to be in ministry with each other, and and perhaps even to people who who might not. Um, have put their faith in Jesus because what does it look like when you're in the workplace or you're at school and you know you've got a friend or a colleague or maybe a family member that's really struggling with something and yet you're able to to show up and be as fully present as you can be and to care for that person to the very best that you that you can right like that speaks volumes to people when you're willing to step in and in into their brokenness into their hurt into their loss into their pain and you're you're willing to express love and compassion for them and at the same time friends it's it's exciting when when you're secure enough in who you are that you're able to celebrate and to truly be joyful that people are taking um the next steps in their lives that they're accomplishing things that they're seeing success that they're they're filled with joy because certain things has happened have have happened and again that's a ministry opportunity to speak in and not just say with that faint smile oh i'm glad this happened to you but to truly mean that and to be excited and be like well this is great let's get you to the next one right like let's get you to the next step the next the next area of success or let's help you to keep growing and friends, as we do that, as we show up and as we can continue to connect with people and do that, we have the opportunity to minister to their lives because, um, you know, it's not often that we have people that are truly joyful and truly desire that that deep mutuality that Nguyen um, is talking about in, in his devotions. So friends, um, think about that for your own life. How... How do you relate to other people in both their distress and in their success? And and I want you to really think about how God might um, be moving you or maneuvering you to show up in a different way. Okay, Because these are, again, profound opportunities for us to care for the people around us and, and also to minister to them out of the things that that God has given us. Now I do want to just caveat that quickly because some people say, well, you know, you know, I'm not a pastor. I don't know how to care for somebody that's struggling or is challenged or I, you know, I maybe don't know how to to really come around someone that's experiencing success. But friends, if you're doing it again out of the goodness of your heart, if you're really letting the the Holy Spirit lead you in those, I honestly believe that God will equip you to to say and to do the things that you need to do. And so we don't need to be insecure that we might not have all the answers, we might not have all the skills, because again, it's not us, you know, it's rather, it's not our, let me say that differently, it's not our own abilities and our own skills and our own words that we're hoping for or relying on, but rather we're allowing on the Holy Spirit to equip and empower us to have the words that need to be said, to do the actions that need to be done, and, and to have the presence that we need to have 
in in people's lives. And if we're doing that with the intention to glorify God, then I believe that that is going to be a great testimony to the people that that we show up with, and and we'll be able to create this beautiful mutuality. Um, where we're walking side by side with each other. And as, as Nguyen says, we're going into this garden. And this garden is is open to all people. It's always been that way. Um, and as we see, you know, in the scriptures that this was God's God's design, even from, from the Old Testament all the way through the New Testament, that Jesus um, came and, and said, look, the, this kingdom is open to anyone who will receive it. And it's meant for my desire is for everyone to come and, and to, to worship, to believe in me and to worship my Father. So friends, I'm going to leave you um, with that. So think and reflect on, on how you show up in your relationships. See if God might not be um, leading you to, to change up some of the ways that you show up in other people's lives. And then, um, you know, go out and, and find ways to truly um, walk alongside people in both their distress and in their success so my friends i hope you have an amazing rest of your day um just god's blessings in all that you do um as always if there are things that i can do to add value to you or support you by all means reach out and i'd be happy to pray with you or talk with you um i know sarah will too she's a little bit busy again this morning uh, but hopefully she'll be back with me tomorrow and we'll we'll do a devotion together so friends god bless have an amazing rest of your day and we'll see you tomorrow at 8 a.m bye-bye